and welcome to our DIY step-by-step -step guide to making cloud dough. Now this is a really fun alternative to Play-Doh. It's a slightly different sensory experience and it's really fun to make together. You need two basic simple ingredients, a cheap hair conditioner. Now it is actually important that you buy the cheapest one you can find. Um, more expensive hair conditioners won't actually work. And some cornstarch or corn flour. Now depending on where you live, um, cornstarch and corn flour may be different. Technically you're needing cornstarch, but in many cases corn flour is the same. You just need to make sure it's the white corn starch, very, very fine powder, not a thick corn meal. All right, we'll need a bowl to mix, a measuring cup or a big um, scoop of some kind that you can kind of measure with, a spatula. Um, we will get our hands dirty eventually, but we'll start off with that. And then if you're feeling like a, um, being a bit adventurous, you can definitely have some food coloring options as well just to color your cloud dough, but that's not necessary. So let's get started. So I'm gonna start by combi combining one-to-one -one corn flour and my hair conditioner. So I'm just gonna do a one cup measurement just so I keep a track of what I've put in. So I'm gonna start with the conditioner. One cup of conditioner, it smells delightful. Now the other great thing about the conditioner is that your cloud dough will smell really nice, hopefully. Perfect. I'm going to pop that in and make sure I get everything out. Perfect. And I'll just give this a wipe with a tissue um, before I put the corn flour in. So I'll get my handy assistant to pass me one of those as well so I can wipe that out very quickly. <gasps> Tissues appeared. Great, thank you. on one. Perfect. So I'm just going to give that a wipe out so that when I put my corn flour in it doesn't stick to the cup too much from the sticky conditioner that's in there. Perfect. All right. Now I'll pop that and that away. Thank you handy assistant. You're very helpful. Perfect. Okay. And we're going to take some corn flour now. One cup. Now, activities like this where you make a DIY resource with your child are really, really great activities to help your child. <laughs> Did everyone see that? I've been having a really good track record, actually, of being able to keep everything inside my cup. It's not the only time that's happened. As I was saying, um, activities like this are really great to do with your child because they help them to be able to gain a sense of independence. <laughs> my assistant is laughing. I'm sorry, we're going to have to bleep for this out. <laughs> so you'll need one cup of the corn flour, as I was saying before I made a nice mess there. Um, and these activities are really, really great to do with your kids because what it does is it helps them to develop a sense of problem solving um, when they figure out how to combine the ingredients, how they can mix it, what they can use. Um, it helps them with um, mathematical skills in real life and science concepts in real life as well. What's going to happen when these things combine and um, counting, you can count how many cups you put in and things like that. Um, but also just a sense of independence and autonomy. Um, it also helps with a sense of responsibility. So if they've created something themselves, they feel much more inclined to look after it and um, when they're playing with it, it gives them a real sense of pride because they know they've made it. In the same way that baking um, will do the same thing. So we definitely encourage you to look into different easy DIY activities at home to make things with your kids. It's a really, really great way to make memories, but also just to help them developmentally. So we've got one cup of conditioner, one cup of corn flour, and that's what I'm going to start with. Then I'm going to mix it together using my spatula. And we will slowly add more corn flour as we go. But for now, I'm just going to combine this. Now it might look a bit marshmallowy to start with, quite wet. Um, that's, that's kind of what we want. Um, as we mix and mix and mix, it will um, harden up a little bit and we will add more corn flour as we go. We just don't want to add too much at the start or it won't, won't work. Um, so we start like this, 
And so I've kind of mixed it and it's a very wet kind of dough. It looks like a melted marshmallow and I'm definitely not gonna be able to make any kind of Play-Doh with that. So I'm gonna need more corn flour. So I'm gonna add more. Now in the end, you will probably end up with a bit of a two to one ratio with two cups of corn flour and one cup of conditioner. But I'm just gonna start by adding another half cup and then I will mix that in. Again. And straight away you can see it's gonna start to thicken. Mix, mix, mix. Now like I said, this is a great sensory activity and is also a messy activity. Don't be afraid of the mess. Um, just make sure that you clean it up when you're done. And don't be afraid to ask your child to help you to clean up at the end too. That's also a really great way to develop a sense of responsibility and autonomy with your child. They've made the mess so they can help clean it, obviously in an age appropriate way. Let's just pop a little bit more corn flour in there. It's definitely starting to thicken. starting to thicken really nicely there and getting harder to mix which is great but it's still in need of a little bit more cornstarch now depending on the type of conditioner that you have um, will depend on exactly how much corn flour you need um, some conditioners are naturally a bit more um, liquidy than others they also will combine slightly differently um, so you'll just have to play it a bit by ear now I think we've got just the right amount now because as I'm starting to to mix, it's not combining as well anymore, which means that our mixture has kind of come at full capacity for the corn flour. So I'm gonna mix, mix some more in there as well. There we go. All right. So if I just show you up close what this is starting to look like, I have got a very thick doughy mixture here. It's not coming off the spatula anymore, finding it hard to kind of combine anything else in there. And that's the point where I take my handy spatula out and I'm gonna start using my hands. I just take some of this excess cloud dough in there. Oh, corn flour. So now I'm gonna take my hands in there and I'm going to kind of knead it together. Now there is still the opportunity to add a little bit more corn flour as you knead it and you realize, oh, it's still a little bit sticky. So I think mine is gonna need just the tiniest little bit of corn flour just to take that edge off and then we'll be ready to make our crowd dough. I'm gonna take this out of my bowl and pop it onto my cutting tray. So I want you all to see what that looks like. Now this is cloud dough. I'm gonna take my gloves off and I'm gonna show you. So it's almost like Play-Doh, but it's definitely much, much softer. Um, and it recombines really well. It's almost magical and fluid um, and it's Lots and lots and lots of fun to play with. I'm gonna add one little touch more of cloud dough in, uh, corn flour in there. Perfect. And mix that through. Perfect, that's exactly how I need it. So now it's just not sticking to my fingers anymore. It's doughy, it's not falling apart. It's still nice and combined, and I have cloud dough. Now, cloud dough is great. You can just wrap it up in some cling wrap, and you can store it. And the way we're gonna end our little cloud dough adventure is I'm actually gonna, there we go, look at that. So much fun, and oh, there it drops. Perfect. So I'm going to add some food coloring to this and make three different batches with three colors. So one, two, Three. It's almost like a mixture between kinetic sand and Play-Doh. I'm going to do one green, one red, and one blue. So I'm going to 
take my clad dough, put it into a nice ball. Perfect. And then I'm going to pop my thumb in the middle there just to make a little hole. And I only want one drop. Drop to start with. Because as we know, food colouring can be quite strong. So we're going to dough, knead, 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 knead that in. All right. So let's do another couple drops. And let's get this cloud dough looking green. Oh, ho, ho. Now this is where your hands will start to get messy. I'm definitely going to end up with some green fingers here. Um, but that's all part of the fun. Almost there. And if we just fold it a few times over and over and over and over and over and over, we're starting to get a green cloud dough. Now you can choose whatever colours you'd like. Um, I'm going to do a red one and a blue one as well. Um, and that will be my cloud dough experience. So as you can see, I've nicely combined that green colouring into there. It is one smooth colour and I have a green ball of cloud dough. Now it is so fun to play with. Um, it, as you can see, if I play with it, it's not getting stuck to my hands. I'm not getting icky, sticky residue, but you can break it apart like kinetic sand and rejoin it and it just seamlessly rejoins. Um, it's such a great sensory experience um, and lots of fun to make with your kids. We hope you enjoyed this step-by-step -step guide, um, real life experience and all with a bit of mess, a bit of fun. Um, and we um, hope that you managed to make some lots of different colours and we'll definitely have some activities to show you that you can do with this cloud dough. Enjoy yourselves and we'll see you later. Bye!